have I am back again. This is going to be an update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette that I have been doing for probably 18 months now. Um, haven't used up 50 products, haven't quite got to 50 products put into the project either. As of today, there will be 47. Getting there. Okay, uh, so since last time, I because I've been a bit slack updating this. Um, according to my marks on here, the last time I updated was the 3rd of July. Wow. Which is well over a month ago. Um, I might... I don't know. I'm way behind. That's, let's put it that way, I'm way behind. Wow, bright light. Okay, so first thing I finished was the Overtime Shadow um, from the Shadows Models Prefer Shadows palette, which was the colour that was in right there. Um, a little while back, you remember, I crushed it up with another colour that was almost exactly the same and pressed it into here, and it is now all completely gone. So that is that one is done. And the other one was actually a real surprise to me, is the um, iTeeny Swizzle Stick in Midnight Cowboy, uh, Cowgirl. I went to use this the other day, and I knew it was broken inside, but at some point, the, um, like, I literally can't wind it up, the bit that was sitting in the top fell out. Really carefully, you probably can't see, but if you can see really carefully, you can just see where it was attached. I don't know where it went, <laughs> I haven't seen it since. I have no idea. I went to use it and I'm like, wait, where's where's my thing? So it's done because there's like nothing in there. So that product is officially finished. Yay! Um, that I thought that one was never going to die. Well, it probably wasn't ever going to die except for the fact that it broke and then it got lost. So there's that. So onto the products that I have not finished. We have the MAC Vegas Vault, which looks exactly the same as it has pretty much since the start. <laughs> I maybe have used, I actually probably used about a centimetre of it, but it just feels like it never is going to die. That's, that's how I feel about that one. It's never going to die. Probably because I don't use it enough. Maybe if I use it every single day. But that's not going to happen either. Um, the next one is the Eyebrow Stylus from Essence. This has made so much project pro pro This has made so much progress since I started this project. It's not funny. Um, so this is where we're at now. A uh, little bit that was sticking up there broke off and fell out. Um, but yeah. Because if you remember when we started, it was all up around in here as well. So, I have got so far with that one. I am so, I, I mean, I really like that part. It's basically the main thing that I reach for when I do my brows. Um, I don't use the brush that comes with it. I use a different angled brush. But I really like that eyebrow powder. If I didn't have about 20 eyebrow products sitting in a drawer over there, I would probably repurchase that one, simply because I like it that much. Then we have the Ultra Olive Pencil from Star Looks, which if I sharpened it, it would look different to the last time. I don't think I've actually used this since the last time they... Um, when they get to a certain length where they're sitting in the container, they're harder to see, so I tend to pull for the ones that are actually easier to see. So I don't really think that one's had much use. Sorry, I'm distracted by the back of my hand where I've got powder, like contour powder. It's, it's looking very orange from here. Uh, next, we have the W7 It's Pink lipstick, pink lipstick. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's pink. I actually put some on before I started filming. Um, 
Not that that would have made a whole lot of difference. But this is a lipstick because it's quite thin and narrow. That if I actually just wore the bloody thing. Yeah. If I just wore it, I could probably get through it pretty quickly. But I just haven't been. Uh, then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now if I go by the line, the marks keep rubbing off of this every time I use it. But if I go by the line that like on a nail polish bottle would be the nail polish fill line. Even if there's some stuck on the sides. We're down there. And you can see the... But there's a weird little line down here around the container which tells me that that's where there's actually product full tool. There might be some up on the sides, but there's really not a huge amount left in here. And it still works fine. Used it today. There's still plenty of product coming out. Um, so it's not even at the point that I need to take out the stopper, but I've already repurchased it. So <laughs> I like it. Uh, then we have the... Inglot 85, which is supposed to be a highlighter, which looks more like a blush. I'm sure it'd be a highlighter on somebody. Uh, I used this today, a little bit. You can't tell. I didn't really put very much makeup on today. <sighs> I didn't even put foundation on. I put powder and I put primer and powder, and that was pretty much it. Uh, then we have the uh, NYX Control Freak. Uh, this is still going, still got stuff coming out on the wand, I don't know how much is in there, it's got that disgusting manky look that clear brow gels get when you put powder in your brows, <laughs> these things just, they, they live forever, some of them, then we have the L'Oreal lip liner, excuse my sniffling, but I'm actually sick still, I, I got sick the other day, Just check this. Oh, don't break it. I have a habit of breaking my pencils when I measure them. So we have made a little bit of progress on this L'Oreal lip liner in uh, Belle Naturel. I like to use this under my Kate um, by Rimmel. Uh, uh, what do you call it? K okay, by Rimmel 45, which is basically a nude, which I was actually wearing underneath all of this. Um, normally, I wear this lip liner underneath. Uh, so, the blue line at the bottom is where we are now. There's that piece of paper for that come from. I have so many things going on in my um, little book of, in my TARDIS. There's so much stuff going on in my TARDIS. <laughs> then we have the eyeshadow pigment from Glamadol Eyes in Obscure. I actually used this for the first time today. I need my eyes. Um, mainly because I finished this and I needed a transition shade. It turns out this is the perfect transition shade. Might look a little bit dark, but it is in fact the perfect transition shade for me. I like it. I like it a lot. And it builds up really nicely, so you can start out really light and then you can build up your intensity. So I, even though I've made like no progress on it, I did use it today for the first time and I really liked it, so that's good. Uh, the next one is the Benefit Pore Fashional. This is like a teeny tiny sample, but um, it would help if I used it. I'm actually using the L'Oreal Base Magic at the moment. I'm trying to use that one up first before I really dig into this one. <sighs> Apart from the fact I don't really like this one that much. Um, so I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually. Then we have uh, Watt from Kat Von D. I've used it a few times. It's a nice colour. 
lips. That one right there. It's a shimmery colour. I tend to use it on the lid or underneath my eye when I want a little bit of colour. Um, I haven't been... I always get jet all over my hands every time I open that palette. It's actually really annoying. Then we have the liquid eyeliner from Alme in brown, black brown. I think this is on its last legs. I don't know if you can see, but it's getting kind of thin. It's like it's getting kind of translucent kind of look to it, like it doesn't have as much pigment in it. It's almost like there's pigment in fluid and now there's more fluid than there is pigment and so it's starting to get um and I just noticed that I have to go back over to get the line the way it was before which is fine because I've been using this thing for probably six months if I use it every day it'd already be gone but I don't use it every day so there's that and the last one is um, a product from a friend, which was this foundation from The Body Shop. Uh, this is in 04. It's okay. I, th I tend to add uh, a bit of luminizer and sometimes a drop or two of white to it because it is kind of a little bit on the darker side. It's okay, but... Uh, I don't think this is the foundation for me. I mean, it's okay, but it doesn't kind of... I have quite deep, like, crease marks on my forehead, and everything just settles in it, and then it just looks, like, really, really terrible. And for some reason, my skin is really, really dry at the moment, so everything catches on the dry patches. And, um, yeah. But I have used this a few times. I hadn't actually marked it. This is one of those ones that pumps up. So I'm just going to put a mark on it now. So next time we'll be able to see if there's actually been... I mean, clearly there's a, it's a clear spot here. Um, I think it was actually down closer to here before. But um, Tamara had used a little bit of it anyway. So I am going to pick two new thingies from my little container. Seeing as how I finished two more products. This one is a product that smells good, and this one is a lip product. Now, frankly, I have too many lip products in other projects, so that one's coming. <laughs> Just, uh, all right, this one wants to come out. Oh, look, there's two of them. Which one do I pick? Right, I'll take both of them, and then the two of the three that I like the most, I'll use those two. Okay, so this one says mascara, and this one says cruelty-free product. Uh, I'm just going to chuck the mascara one back in there. Alright, a cruelty-free product, and a product that smells good. I'll be back. Okay, so, for a cruelty-free product, I am going to go with this Jordana Quick Eye Quick Liner for Eyes in Black. I realise I already have a liquid eyeliner, but this one is black, the other one is, um, this one is pencil, apart from anything else. So, I'm going to stick that one in, I have so many black eyeliners, I really need to start, like, using them. Um, yeah, and, uh, Jordana is a cruelty-free brand, at least according to, um, Cruelty Free Kitty, which was where I checked to make sure. Um, so if she got it wrong, then <laughs> in your my village, I just use the internet to find information. So that is that one. And the product that smells good is actually cuticle oil. This is actually an Essie cuticle oil. Uh, this is their apricot cuticle oil. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I haven't actually started using it yet. But the, um, the one that I'm currently using 
is almost done. So what I do for my cuticle oil is I have this, this is actually a water pen. Um, it's designed if you're using like watercolour pencils and stuff, you fill this bit here with water. And then it has a brush tip on it. So you can like paint with it basically. Um, so see, I don't know if you can see, but in there, there is some cuticle oil. Um, there's not actually very much in there. I'll just, what I'll do, this will make it easier to see. Because the uh, essence one is actual, uh, sorry, the SE one is orange. It's not mixing with the other one. <laughs> They're sitting quite separately. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you can just like paint it around your nails. It's much cleaner and easier to use it that way. Um, I have one sitting by my computer and one sitting by my bed for putting cuticle oil in. Um, and this one smells like apricots, which is a nice smell. So that is the two products that I'm adding in to this. Hopefully I will uh, update sooner than like two months. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notifications of when I upload videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.